today. At the several questions, what is the area of the circle? Well, first you have to write down the formula. Area equals pi r squared. How many of you have that memorized by now? Excellent. Good. So pi times my radius is already given, which is 5 squared. So 5 squared is 25, and you would say 25 times pi. Sometimes they leave it at, at pi, but we're just going to get used to finishing it all the way. So we have 78.54 meters squared. Then it says, if you double the radius, what would the new area be? So now my radius is going to be 10. So then it is pi times 10 squared, which is 100 pi, which is 314.16. Then it says, what is the ratio of the areas from the larger circle to the smaller circle? So I'm going to um, get rid of the decimals and my larger circle is 314 to 78. If you reduce this or divide it, 314, there are four 78s in there and there'd be four to one. Now, that's, it's kind of harder to see it this way, right? Because I don't know about you, but I don't normally divide things by 78, correct? This is why I wrote these this way. So now let's use this, because this is the area, right? So now I have 100 pi over 25 pi. Can I reduce this easily? Yeah. Yeah, by 25. So then I know, well, I'd, be, I'd reduce by 25 pi. So then I know my ratio is 4 to 1. So sometimes leaving pi there helps you if you would need to make it into a ratio. Yes, Sandra. Then you need to go get one. Number two. The size of a cube is doubled from its original length. What is the ratio of the volume from the smaller cube to the, wait, I'm doing the wrong problem. Sorry, that's tomorrow. Number two, a large cylinder, cylindrical cooler is four feet high. So I'm going to draw my cooler. So it is four feet high. And the diameter, so all the way across, is two. It is filled three-fourths high with water for the athletes to use during their soccer game. Estimate the volume of, of the water in the cooler. So it's not the whole water cooler. I just want to know how much water is in there. So if I, and it says three fourths, so this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. And isn't four fourths, wouldn't that be the four feet high? So three fourths is really three feet high. So now I need to find the volume. Volume equals pi r squared times the height. How many of you have that formula memorized? Okay, maybe not yet, which is okay. Always think it's area times height. Volume is always area times height. So then I have pi. Now, what's my radius? Is it the two? No. What is it? One, because it's half of it. So the radius would be one squared. Now, my height is what? Am I going to use four? No. No, I'm going to use a three because I want how much of the water is in there. So then I have, put that in my calculator, it's really just pi times three, which would be 9.42. Number three, what kind of angles are those in <coughs> number three? What kind are they? Did you write it down? You didn't do it. Vertical angles. What's important about vertical angles? Yeah, and you need to write that. Equal each other. So then now I want to solve it. So 41 equals 2x plus 1. Draw my line. Subtract 1 from both sides. So now I have 40 equals 2x. Divide
divide by 2, divide by 2, 20 equals x. Number four, we have to find the missing angle. I know these two angle measurements, so I'm going to have to start there. So I know 75 plus 60 equals 135. And I take 180 minus 135, and I get 45. So this angle right here is 45. If this is 45, what is the measurement up here? 45, because I would take 90 minus 45 is 45. So now I know 45 and 75. So I take 45 plus 75 and I get 120. So then I take 180 minus 120 and I get 60 to be my final answer. How many of you got 60? I should see all hands. Very good. Five. What's important about number five? I've, I've been highlighting my verticals, or not my verticals, excuse me my parallel, and these angles, are they interior or exterior? <laughs> interior. Are they um, alternating? No, they're on the same. So if they're on the same side, what do they have to equal? Huh? 180. So I have 16x plus 4. Dividing by 16, dividing by 16, and x equals 6. How many of you got 6? Excellent. Number 6 we did yesterday. We will no longer do any more 6s. 7. On the first day of class, Jim skimmed 17 random pages from each of the books assigned to his class. Each book has an equal number of pages. Is this sample of reading likely to be biased or unbiased? What is bias? First of all, can somebody tell me what it means to be biased? Like you favor something over another thing? Right. If I'm biased, I favor something over something else. Like some people might say some uh, teachers are biased of girls. They like girls better than boys, right? Yeah. Some of you guys say, or some teachers might be biased. They like boys better than girls. Whatever. That's a bias, right? In sampling, a bias would be um, if I am choosing something with like, these are talking about books and they all have the same number of pages, they're all assigned to her. Is there a choice here that I can make that would make it biased? There's not. So this is considered unbiased. If they were different, because they have this equal number of pages, it's unbiased. If they were different number of pages, it would be a biased sample. Does that make sense? So because they're all equal, it's unbiased. So seven is unbiased. Did, how many of you got it right? How many of you got it right because you're guessing? Okay, that's it, right? Because it's something new. Based on the sample on the table, how many of the 650 students in seventh grade will also like country as their favorite type of music? First, I have to make a um, ratio for country. So six people like country. So I have six out of how many here did we um, ask? How many people did we ask? So it's six out of 25 like country. Now we want to know how many of 650 students will like country. So I have X on the top, and my total is 650 students. 
You're setting it up as a ratio. Then you do my cross multiplication. So I have 25x equals 650 times 50. 32,000. Oh, why am I taking it times 50? What am I doing? 650 times 6. Somebody could have caught me and I would have had to do push ups. So 3,900. Then I divide by 25, divide by 25, and x equals 156. How many of you got 156? 